Hello everyone and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. In this episode we're playing with the Eldorado DLC, which basically allows us to add loads of add our own countries, which is amazing. So we're going to do this. What I've done is I've set it up so that we have a custom setup. We're gonna make the Periapsis Empire. I'm thinking maybe around this kind of area. Um I'll make my capital in London. That seems pretty good. Um, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe if I go along down this coastline as well? That would be quite cool. So I've got an instant way into this kind of area. Um, let's, what am I going to call my nation? I've already said Periapsis Empire. Yay! Um. So, I'm gonna get this set up now, and I'll speed up this section. See you when it's set up. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'll have my country very navally based. So I'm going to try and get a, a big naval force limit and a lot of trading stuff done. So I could go plus one merchant. I think plus one merchant. That seems quite good. Some more land. Oh, Norfolk. Base tax twelve. I think I'm gonna go for a merchant's republic because another merchant that that seems like it'd be quite good. I would go with the Dutch Republic, but some I've tried playing before and I can't for some reason it keeps coming up with an error message for Dutch Republic, so We're gonna be a very navally focused nation, which I've never been like before. Let's go with this and then we'll see how it goes. Let's go. So now we're in the game. Um I'm liking this the the way this is looking at the moment. We've got some fairly small neighbours here. We've got Bijapur, which is a very small neighbour which would be good but firstly let's sort out our trade so where do we have very good um, trade power in we've got some decent trade power in here 21% of the total in there that's good got like loads up here 14% up there that seems good So if we send our merchants to these places here, some trade node off there somewhere. Don't know how trade wind works. Bordeaux 
Bordeaux's one of the end nodes. I didn't know that. I don't have any trade power down here. Why am I sending my guy down there? Where do I have trade powder power? I guess I collect from trade here. That seems like it'll be quite a good idea. What's my trading? What's my income here? Trades plus 16.3. So, who wants an alliance? Germany. Uh, too small. Decline. Great Britain. Uh, too small. Decline. What I'm thinking is... Maybe these guys down here. They look pretty powerful. Off alliance. Off alliance. And then... Maybe these guys as well. Let's go on the ledger. Military, armies. Force limit. Total. So we've got Maya, Sukutai, Kish, Chikaboya. Then there's me. I'm fifth. That's good. And then we've got Ar Ardalan. We've got some quite good allies here. Because this one's our ally and this one's our ally. What I'm thinking is... Let's see if we've got any of these big ones over here. Um, Sukotai. Too far away from me to be my ally, really. Kish, you hate me. Orvam? Do you have a good... Yeah, you've got 18,000. You like me. Hello. You be my ally as well. Um, you want to be an ally? I, you've got an inappropriate name, Decline. So, now... Oh yeah, I've got to send out my trade ships. Light ships. Um, protect trade in... Wait a second, if... I split my light ships. Protect trade in... Lubeck. And you protect trade in... North Sea. I should send them both to Lubeck. Now they're 17 stack, yeah. Now, these guys will separate off the transports. Um, move you to Calais. Our capital's London, so... Then we'll mothball our heavies in London. Now, Bijapal, they don't like me. Carno, who are you allied with? Savoy and Chin. Hello, where are you at? Base tax two, base tax two. Okay. Okay, these guys, I want to get the stuff because. Oh my god. Um, that's just insane. Esacada. Um. Convert actions, fabricate a claim on Alenko. The capital is ill de France, yeah? Yeah. Oh, there's some stuff in the HRE here. So. We're not in the HRE. Who is the HRE guy? It is. Chikapoya. You? No, that's not even. Oh my. 
Chekapoya is tiny. How do... Wait, they have... Force limit... Is this like... Is base tax one? Yeah, we move all of these. Should have made my capital in one of those, and then I'd have been part of the HLE, and then I could have just got benefits from it. Look at our income. Look at that. Wait, was our income more in? Let's just get these guys as our allies. There, no, rivals. Rivals, allies. How can I get them mixed up? Zealand. Oh, you need to be removed from the Empire. Okay, and you don't. So... Not really too interested in these. Maybe this one. Look at Maya down there. Jesus. They're an Icta. They're sunny. This is going to be very different because this is more likely to be Maya invading Europe than Europe invading Maya. Or Africa will invade Europe, pretty much. As a caller, we will have a rival. Keep fabricating a claim. Yay, free Diplo. Um, Bijapur. Um, they don't like me. Allied with Tongu and bad name. Bad name. What I'm hoping is that Tongu don't get, um, a thing so they can get into my land through Malaya and Germany. They would they would ally with me. I wouldn't ally with them though. So they're allied with those guys, they're allied with Norway. Where's Norway? Down there. Yeah, I'm not too worried. Norway, Malaya, and Cree. Not too worried about Cree either. Norway? It's got, they've got 10 base tax. Malaya, not really all too worried about that. Cree? Not too worried about that either. Let's build our army up to our force limit. Might, might as well. One, two, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now we will declare war on those guys as soon as we have a claim. Yes. Oh dear, rebels! Seventeen thousand. 
Jesus! Um... And either ruler or okay, George Lancaster, you can be our general. Oh God, no, no, no! Come on, come on! Oh my God, is zero point zero three zero? Yes, we won. Phew. Um, National Manpower Modifier? Hmm. I'll go with you. Am I part of the HRE? I shouldn't be. Oh wait, oh no, that's the Holy See. Whoops. Factions. I have the traders in. We should have massive trade income now. Yay! So what's the papacy like? We could become the Pope. I mean the Curia controller, not the Pope. Papal state is always the Pope. Where's the paper state? Um, do to do, do. Um, wait, so the paper state might not be actually with it wait so we can't even see the papal state that's weird so if we go to the religion map mode the papal state must be somewhere up there <laughs> that's quite funny Sukkot High is Catholic, yeah. Sukkot High is massive. Come off, I'm off the ball. 41 ducats or 10 prestige. 10 prestige. Okay, we've got a manpower, we've got our army back to its full size. So they're allied with Norway, Malaya and Klee. So, if we declared war on a Sakala, distant war, attitude towards enemies. Okay. 
So Malaya, on the other hand, um, if I just declare war on them, Norway wouldn't join theirs. That seems quite good. I'm not sure whether Ardalan would actually help, but might as well add them. Where's Ardalan? Lurger Index, Navies, Force Limit. Me, highest, yes. Our land would help. It would help more if it was down, somewhere down here, but they would still help. And what's their opinion of these people? Um, So, I'm thinking we should just go for it. Um, merchants plus... Really? Um, trade power. Yeah, we'll go trade power. Um, 10 prestige or this stuff, papal influence and random stuff which I don't get. Um, 10 prestige, papacy. We've got one cardinal which is loyal to us. We need some more papal influence. I have two active cardinals. Nah. I don't have a clue where the papal state is. Kind of strange when you think about it. So... Declare war. Adlan would join. That's cool. So Malaya and Norway would also join. So we'll let these ships repair. There we go. Now Asakala. Oxfordshire, 15th, 20th, good. Any here that I want? Norfolk's a capital. I think we're going over mar to marches. Let's siege them out a bit. I think that's in. Those guys are in North. Bijapur? It's like conquest. Hopefully, they can't get full annexation. What would full annexation cost? Okay. That seems. So we'll let them fight some stuff over there. 
They're at war with a lot of people. move as many of my troops over there as possible. Um, you stay in car. You group there. Um, you take Daniel away, I guess. Oh, for God's sake, A Akia! No, I want that. Oh wait, I'm the attacker. Okay, that's good. Wonder if we can get that all there. We're getting 44% um, blockade. Let's um, split this and then move half of these over there as well. 100% blockade. Now, how many of these can we move over? Um, split. Send one more over. Send one more over. Group these guys and protect trade in Lubeck. Because Lubeck comes towards here. So... Ardlands dealing with them, that seems pretty good. Where's Norway? Wait, is Norway no longer a thing? I think Norway was forced to at least Savoy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that is just strange what's this kind of siege like chin sieging them out chin is there There we go, we see out Norfolk. Now, is there anywhere else that they m might need blockading? No. No, 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 no. Straight into Ile de France. There we go. Stolen the siege from me. Trading can modifier or. 
I don't want to lose the trade income. We have literally zero manpower. Oi, get out of there! We can't get the as a vassal. Malaya, decline. They aren't moving out, are they? Oh, the Cree, they're going to get what they need. Who are they at war with? These people, they're not doing too well, are they? Malaya, don't care. And we've got these two sieges going. This seems quite good. On that note, I will end the video here. I've been Periapsis, and this has been European Universalis 4. The Periapsis Empire. Oh. Um... Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.